Hi, it's Brother Charles from Reviewer's Revival with you. Thank you for joining me. Today, let's take a look at Mixcraft Pro Studio 6 by the good folks over at Acoustica. Mixcraft is often overlooked by a lot of the home producer and small studio community. Many consider it to be a novice or beginner's program. I started it with Mixcraft, oh, just at the beginning of the release of version 5, and I can tell you very honestly that it has continuously produced very fine results for me. Mixcraft is very easy to use and is most likely the easiest, most intuitive DAW available, regardless of price. Mixcraft 6 is available in more than one version. There is a new version that has been released by Acoustica that also includes an inexpensive but highly usable USB condenser microphone. There is the standard version, which I mentioned earlier, is available for $74.95. And this one today that's up on the reviewer's bench is the Mixcraft Pro Studio 6 version, which retails for $149 US. One of the attributes about Mixcraft Pro Studio 6 that I really appreciate is that you can add an unlimited number of audio or MIDI, video, send, submix, or output tracks. It's as easy to do as simply clicking on the menu item or, as you can see, with hotkey combinations. Each track has its own individual properties. You can arm the track, monitor it in real time, you can add multiple lanes to a single track. Let me resize this and I'll show you what I mean. You can also just simply right click on any track and choose insert track. Let's go ahead now and add a MIDI or virtual instrument track. Now that I have a MIDI track added or virtual instrument, if we click on the little icon that looks like a miniature keyboard, it will bring up the VSTI instrument list. Making sure that VSTI Instruments is clicked on and selected, we can scroll through the list of instruments that are both included with Mixcraft Pro Studio 6 as well as any VSTs that you may have added of your own. For this example, let's go ahead and add the Combo Organ Model F by Martinique. By the way, if you're interested in this fantastic Farfasia emulation, go on over to the Martinique website. I'll include a link in the review. Check out the Combo Organ Model F and also its sister organ, the Combo Model V, which is a Vox Continental emulation. It's easy to delete a track in Mixcraft. Simply right click and choose delete. Alternatively, you can use the keyboard combination Control Shift plus the letter D. It is easy breezy to arm a track for recording in Mixcraft. Select the correct input source, click on arm, and the track is now ready for recording. For those who play guitar or bass or any instrument that needs to be tuned in real time, you can click on the chromatic tuner. You get access to the inline or in-track tuner. The speaker icon, when clicked, enables real-time monitoring. I'll record a little snippet of audio to show off the automation features built into Mixcraft. We don't need too much, so we'll just record four or five measures worth of audio data. That should do it. Rewind the track, disarm it, and you'll see that I already have loaded into this track Blue Cat Dynamics. This is a great compressor, by the way. This is a very powerful limiter slash compressor. For the purposes of this video, I'll just use the easiest parameter to access, the first one, the pregain knob. If we click on the automation button, you'll see that we can choose any automatable feature within the particular VST that we want to work with. If I had a, a list here of four or five or six VSTs, 
I could control the values of any of those plugins that I wanted to. I'll bring the Blue Cat Dynamics compressor up for you to see. Make sure the track is rewound. Keep an eye on the input gain. Yo to show off the automation features built into Mixcraft. We don't need too much, so we'll just record four or five measures worth of audio data. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to use the automation features built into Mixcraft.